Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we have a tutorial on how to build a daylight sensor in Beta Minecraft 1.7.3. Let's get into it. Now just a quick disclaimer, this is not my original design. This was built by Etho over 12 years ago. I'll leave a link in the description to the original videos. But I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on this for anybody new to Beta 1.7.3. Alright, so these are the resources you're going to need. You're going to need 14 redstone dust, 5 redstone torches, 3 redstone repeaters, 2 sticky pistons, 1 regular piston, 1 bucket of water, 1 button, 64 dirt, and a stack of any block of your choice. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make the dirt frame, and we start that by making a 3x3 three three, um, kind of grid of dirt blocks with one block in the middle. Then we want to tower up by one, make sure you break this center block here, and make a ring of eight blocks of dirt around just like that. Uh, then we want to pillar up and actually place one more ring above that, another ring of eight, leaving that center block empty just there like that, and that's what it'll look like. Um, you want to make sure you connect this all up with a grass block so grass grows on all of these blocks. Once grass has grown on all of these blocks, we can tower up and put our bucket of water in the center block of that top ring there like that, and that should drop down onto the top of this block here. Now the next thing we're going to do is make a bud switch that will detect when this grass block turns from a grass block to a dirt block and back again. So the first thing you want to do is place a sticky piston facing away from the grass block with three building blocks of your choice in front of it like that and then another four in front of it there just like that. You then want to place a block one block away from this first one and then underneath uh, the second last one on the top there like that. So the next thing you want to do is place a redstone torch on this bottom block here and another redstone torch on the back of this block here with a repeater leading into it there like that. Then you want to pillar up and place five redstone dust across the top of the block just like that and if we test that that works we can just place a block next to it and it should do that when we break it and place it like that. Okay, so the next part of the sensor we're going to build is the T flip-flop, which is responsible for cutting off the water, changing the state of the grass block and the dirt block. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is place four blocks along the bottom there like that, with two blocks coming up here on the right-hand side, then with a block um, sort of here in a staircase kind of pattern. Then you want to place a redstone dust here and a redstone dust here, then a repeater here with a three-tick delay just like that. You want that to lead into a redstone torch, there like that at the top of the, uh, the staircase. Then you want to place a block behind you on top of this redstone dust, and then another redstone torch leading into this redstone dust here, which will turn this torch off just like that. Now the next thing you want to do is jump up onto this block here, and off the side of this redstone torch place a sticky piston and then a block in front of it there just like that. Then you can kind of come around over here and place your regular piston facing into the water, and as you can see it will cut off the water there just like that. Then you can kind of jump down here, place a button on this block here, and when you press it, you'll see that the T flip-flop activates, which opens the water up, and then closes it off there just like that. So the last thing we want to do is actually connect the bud switch to the T flip-flop so that when the grass block changes to a dirt block and vice versa um, and the bud switch powers, it also powers the T flip-flop. So what we want to do is pillar up on this side, place a block here just like that and redstone dust leading off to the side here just like that over the top of the dirt. Now where that redstone dust lines up to, as you can see it there, we want to place a redstone torch and then underneath it blocks there like that with redstone dust leading into a repeater on a three tick delay and a block here with a redstone dust on top. Now I'm just going to do a walk around in third person here so that you guys can actually see everything that is in this contraption and uh, yeah, in case you've missed anything like that. The last thing I'll point out here is that you can actually pull a, uh, a redstone source coming out of this end here like that. So for example, if it's night time, um, the bud switch will be in this state, and as you can see, that redstone dust on top will be powered. If we uh, flick this button again and it's during the day, it'll be off. So you can take this output and use it in any kind of contraption you need the, uh, the daylight sensor for. 
All right, and I'm just gonna wait for the sun to set so that we can actually see this thing in action. I've hooked it up to a little piston contraption here with a light source underneath so that when it hits nighttime, um, the piston will retract and uh, it'll light up the area. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the goal. So we're gonna wait till it gets dark and we'll see the contraption in action. Alright, so there you go, you saw that the uh, grass block turned to dirt and that triggered the whole contraption and that brings the, uh, the light out. So it can take some time to change at night, maybe a couple of minutes, but uh, for the most part it's pretty reliable. Now we're going to sleep and uh, see the same thing happen, but obviously in reverse for the daytime. So, just going to sleep here. And that happened pretty much inst instantaneously. Um, the dirt block turned to grass and that triggered the whole situation and that uh, that made it so that the, the light block was covered, so yeah. Okay, just a couple of last things to mention that I forgot to mention while uh, recording the building process is that you can actually bury this whole machine, it doesn't matter, as long as this water source block is exposed to the daylight. That's all that matters is that that block is exposed to the sun. And one other thing is during the day, this piston should be retracted, alright? So if it looks like this and it's daytime, then it, it's not gonna it's not gonna work properly. So make sure you uh, you have this piston retracted during the day and then at night it will extend. Alright, but that is how you build a daylight sensor in beta Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching, and uh, let me know in the comments if you found this useful. Alright, that's all for now, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!